All right, Chloe, we got some shit. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. So creepy. Out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh shit. What are you doing in my <laughs> dorm? Uh You're I got such nothing. a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Ooh. Warren, where the hell did you come from? Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh jeez. <laughs> you were you definitely not so ready for that. Dead. Jesus. Get off me, bro. How the fuck is Warren suddenly able to take him on? That's what I want to know. Uh. Yeah, you know what, Warren? You're ruining our chance at establishing a very fruitful uh, relationship. So, fuck off. Warren, stop it! Come on. Oh, oh my head! Why y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Yay! Let's go. More yeah. of a challenge. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Not yet, bitch. Not yet. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I just wanted to challenge. He's got his gun. That's exactly how I want Damn. it. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. Yeah, you almost know. blew it, bitch. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, Trust me, dude, you are not so the Incredible maybe Hulk. Better, um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. See, Chloe yeah, tells it like it I is. Do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. It's like no one even I'll needs me. Everyone later. already knows. It's better. Like. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. Well, don't. You are. Well, don't. Because you know I'm better than you. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Not really. We kind of stopped him. Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Oh, here we go. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Yes, let's not. It's the beach again. See, I told you. Man, okay, I was okay. I was wrong. It does not all sit in the beach. <sighs> Illuminati. <laughs> I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. They're watching us. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll oh, actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. Oh, you bitch. And I bitch. might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. <laughs> There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Yeah. 
No stroking his dick, Chloe. Not this time. Alright. Nope, what do we have I here? Don't want to go oh there. shit, no. Okay, I didn't mean... Oh, never mind. I didn't mean to go all the way out. Jesus. What do we got here? We got a worn out beach. That looks kind of nice. Let's see. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Ah, I see. Basically, an anti Pan Estates, uh, you know, propaganda letter or something. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Uh... This is where my nightmare started. Yeah, you, yeah, you mean over there, not, 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 not by that sign. No. Uh... Yeah, how would it, uh, how would it, um, how, how would it not be connected? I don't know. Maybe they're just lazy. No worries, sign. Well, apparently someone, oh, no, wait, on the beach. Okay, never mind, I'm retarded. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, another whale. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Take a photo. It blows gotta... my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. I guess you're right. Yeah, we gotta give in to Max's beached whales morbid so curiosity. Awful, oh, you just said the same thing. So okay. Majestic. Why'd I even bother looking at Hold on. Those beached whales look okay, so whatever. awful. <laughs> Still so majestic. That's kind of dumb. Whatever. That's fine. Ooh, Could another sign. There are no actual cops around to bust us. Yeah, that was that would be stupid. We're gonna arrest you for trying to swim. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Can't see yes, it is. Shit I'm always people. funny. Maybe Frank knows about the Illuminati. He doesn't want them spying on him. Take the oh trash out sometime, dude. Yeah, dude. Come on. Take out the goddamn trash. Man. This is where Frank ponders his existence. And gets drunk. So not eco-friendly. Fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Why wouldn't he be? Good we threw the bone in the parking lot. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Alright, let's go. Let's deal with the shit bag. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come us. along. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? <laughs> well, he's on the point at least. But you're not getting your money. Fuck no. I I don't have the That's money. That's for us. Yet. Oh really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. You're gonna change your answer soon. Jesus, okay. Okay. I told you. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Hey, this isn't just wrestling. Of some of your clients oh is that all oh well why didn't you just tell me 
How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need How? a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. What, no you said I wasn't bullshitting? Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! Well, you had a knife out. I mean, what the fuck do you think I was gonna do? To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with yeah, my Yeah, you camp. dumbass. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is he. And if you try any oh. shit, he will bite How you. How hot is he? Off. He's done it before. We're only here oh, to Oh, okay, like that. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh yeah, totally. They can kill. They can be trained to kill anyone for me. I mean, that's pretty awesome by my book. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your head. Oh, really? Why don't you just go play? In your like you're way over your head. Oh, fuck you, man. You know why? Cause Rachel photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can I know. look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand That's why I not brought it up. she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Actually, it's up to me. You just need to give me what I want. Well, if there's a Come chance on. in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Good. And and you'll take back that you, dork. So I guess that's a good sign. Saying. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Yay, we made him our bitch. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I got what I wanted. Alright, mission complete. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Yeah, let's keep it for ourselves. Haha. <laughs> Fuck Frank. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hurry. Go, go, go! Back to the board. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Aw. I, I want more enemies. I want to fuck everyone's shit up. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. 
Oh, Frank, speak of the devil. Hey, hi Max, just thought I'd wish you and Chloe good luck for your search, with what little luck I have left. Thanks, Frank. The bigger our team, the more luck we have. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party. And good luck. Yeah, that is kind of... That is kind of sudden that now he just wants to party with us. <laughs> what kind of partying is he thinking? Like, I imagine with him it'd be like, you know, smoking weed and getting drunk and stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's Max's Sorry. thing. We got Frank on our side without using you. I guess it is good that we got more recruits for our secret operation. Got to look at it that We've way. We printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Oh, that's all printed? Okay. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right, time to get my detective on. Let's start from Max, the bottom. I know no. we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. Shut up. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Yeah, shut up, Chloe. I was busy talking. You do never talk over your master. Anyway, uh, let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom. Alright. Uh, gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's let's a specific number of clues. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So we got... Okay, so... If we pay attention to what she said there, we got two clues. And we gotta look for stuff pertaining to Frank's hmm. bullcrap. Frank's account so. But the client names are encrypted. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. So it's definitely none of that. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Again, again, uh, just has to do with Rachel. And we're focusing on his drug deals right now. So, yeah, okay, we read that before. Rod oh, well, let me shit. That Ooh. does fit Nathan. Rod. This, this looks conspicuous. Hmm, Chloe's a bulldog. Nathan's a Rottweiler. Logan's a Labrador. Interesting. Stella, Jesus. <laughs> All these people are taking drugs from him? Wow. Um, Bruce. Justin is a beagle. Huh. Simon. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh. What happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Some more Rachel shit. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying and drugs for him. This is probably right? the second closest thing, but it still seems like it has nothing to do with the drug deals per se. So I think we got our match. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. All right. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay. Okay, Max. Sure thing. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. All right, okay. So... Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Okay, I'm not going to bother going through all this because I already kind of know. So, if you pay attention, if Nathan was the Rottweiler. So, you see here, Rot Blackwell. So, there's one. And... Huh. Two deals here he is again on the same day. Party supplies, no doubt. One in the boondocks, one at Blackwell. And... So, there's the other. And then... I believe the other was one of these two. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Yeah, there we see it again. Rot. Twice. Beach and Blackwell. Uh, but we'll look at the others for fun. 
Everybody so you knows can see. Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, well, when I saw st when I even saw Stella's name on there, you know, I believe anything could be possible. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Oh yeah, I'm and, getting uh, a contact high just reading this. Right, so there's all that. Um, also, if we look at one of these, let me see. Just as a bit of a reference point. Uh, what was Chloe again? A bulldog? Right, here we go. So we see Bulldog. It was around September 30th. This was before the game started. And it's a $3,000 loan. So we can actually see the $3,000 loan that Chloe was talking about. Which she took about a week before the game started. So, I don't know. I just thought that was an interesting little thing to point out. Um, but yeah, here we go. Oh, yes! These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Sweet. Now onto David's clues. See Thanks this shit. to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David right, should have done fucking way crazy. more than take photos of Kate. Mm. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate. In his own messed up way. Yeah, so, so far it's all Kate stuff. Oh, I hope minutes. in this case that David has good tracking skills. Wait, so this is about Nathan trying to track down what he was doing. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. That's a bit of a clue. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? And now we're just steering off into Rachel. That's not really relevant right now. You need to get rid map. of these ten cameras, David. Yeah, again, not particularly related. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. That's true. He just focuses on doing the utmost, but he's not very good at it. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. And yeah, he's beating someone up here, but I'm always beating Lauren up. But, I mean, we already knew that, so... David really has been on it's Rachel's ass for new. a while. Or pertinent. She should have been upset. And this is about Rachel again, but... I guess I'll read this, because it's short. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel's been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Sounds like Principal Wells. Alright, so... Let me see this again. Alright, so if we're focusing on Nathan here and trying to find out what he was doing during the week, then coordinates would probably help, and license plates for those coordinates would probably help, and... Hmm. I guess this photo of Nathan? And that's all she wrote. Okay. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Alright. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Okay. Well, simple enough. Um... So, see all the coordinates? Yep. Another car David was tracking. This is for license plate Twin Peaks, which is Chloe, so it's definitely not her. So it's definitely not that hmm. one. Who else was David for... tracking here? <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not aware of that. But Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? This is Twilight Zone, which we did see before in the photo. And six. So, which I also don't recognize. So now if we analyze the cars, let's see. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. So we found out where Nathan is, so... We found out which car Nathan drives, so this should be... Uh, it makes it that much simpler. We should be able to um, pin it all back to this. If we pay attention to the detail on it. Um, Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? 
Now, the reason you can tell it's not is because if you look closely, he has, like, all this taped up shit there, and that photo doesn't. So, it's that's definitely not definitely that. That's definitely Chloe's car. And, yeah, that's Chloe's car. We already knew that. There's this is just Nathan, Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. This is Nathan having a drug deal, so... Yeah, whatever. Not related. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Nah. But, um... Yeah, and that's not related anymore. And wow, ooh. sir. This looks like an expensive machine. It does, doesn't it? Black car. Interesting. And Ooh. then, here we go. Who does this car belong to? And we can see the license plate. And we have our match. Woot. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Man, that's a shitty version, shitty looking Google Maps. Hold on a second, slow down. Not ready yet. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? All right. There's a lot of numbers in here. Right. There is a lot of numbers here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Probably. If there is a dark room, we better find it. Hey, that's the end of this episode. Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Bash, someone gets Holy it, but... shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Sim pin. Make sure to change it. Oh, so it probably so has been. Busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Alright, what's this shit? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th. Nathan, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. I see. Hold on, let me just... Uh, Nathan has... So what are they saying? Oh. Right, okay. Sorry, I don't always pay attention when I'm reading aloud. It's kind of a... It's like two different tasks for me, so... Um, let's see. Looking at the oh, phone. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Right. So, I've done this before in two other playthroughs, and I still can't figure this out. So, to save up time, because I've tried, like, I'm pretty sure every, if not almost every number here. And, uh, yeah, I'd rather not waste that time. So, we'll just do... What I did last time. Which was... We'll just fucking... Oh, wait. We're not there yet. Whoops. <laughs> um, in that case... I imagine it's this, this... This, because it has numbers in it. And... This. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Okay, that was a bit of a fail, but what I was t basically what I was Let's talking about was actually at this part. Right, so we're supposed to, like, figure out, like, what the fuck his phone code is, but, like, it's nearly impossible. So, uh, I'm just gonna fucking do this. 
Oops. Bad code. Um, maybe a bit of this. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. And perhaps some of this. You locked it, dumbass. And then we can use that. Wait a minute. Then we can use that PUK. And it's eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. Yeah, so eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. Yeah, okay, that's easy enough. Eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. Oh yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. What up? Need the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bring it. Stay away, pigs on yes. the beach. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party tonight. Home. On the way. Load the bowl. Vince <sighs> Frank guys. Not very coercive. Party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit. Get that Drug money out. Drama. <laughs> you up, bro? No shit. What you need? Peruvian flake skidoo acid. Okay. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff? You home? Or... Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now! Calm yourself, you tweaking. Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous... Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, text. Yeah, how's that worked out for you so far, Nathan? No, Not well. Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this <laughs> from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want to treat me like an, you want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than be proud of you. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh my god. Speak of the devil again. Pussies can't fucking fight. You fuck up my dorm do door, I kill your scholarship. Oh my. Well, bring it on, bitch. That's why I stopped him. Let's see. Uh, where do we leave off here? Fuck, where do we leave off? I don't know. Uh, 56, I think. So, here you are. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And time for the final piece of the puzzle. Let's go. Take a breath, Max. Go through oh, all geez. this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this quickly, because I already know. Um, I think it was that, but hold on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think it was this. If you look, it's uh, the time for this is around 10.24 to 10.34 p.m. And they're literally talking about having a deal. Uh, and Frank's on his way. Uh, to meet Nathan in an undisclosed location. And so if we match that, 
with the time that we saw there, which was October 4th at, like, you know, around night time. Wait. See, that's October 4th, but it was earlier, so that's not it. And then, see, this, this matches up. 10.50 p.m. So, there we go. And then, we look at all these photos, and we look at which ones we don't really know about, which ones would fit for an undisclosed location, and barring... I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Barring this one, which has all happened at different times, um, we have... This, Not much out there. Which, as you can see, October 4th at 10.56, and it's just some random barn, from the looks of it, so, yeah, it fits. Also, somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Hmm. Just thought I'd show that, I think it's interesting to see. Um, oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. I guess I may as well go over all these just so you can Was see the dialogue. Was Frank at the junkyard? Nope. Okay, we already that have that. That is like Frank's main office. Sure is. Um. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Jeez, that sounds brutal. I mean, for like a frying pan, like just pour like hot water on him or something. <laughs> oh, jeez. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. Nah. It's too public, too explicit. Here Looks we go. Looks like this isn't the right combination. What? Did I fail somehow? Flyer. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I... Maybe I would jump to this a little bit too quickly. No, that should be it. Oh, shit. October 4th. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Oh, I was I did fuck up. Look at that. It was fucking October. I'm dumb. I jumped at it too quickly. Whoops. There we go. Boondocks. October fourth, eleven p.m. That matches. And the Boondocks is like basically the middle of nowhere. So. Chloe, this is. Definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Oh my god. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's <laughs> Really? After parent, all right? this? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. You got that right, girl. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us. Okay, he else. didn't really kick his ass. We stopped him. I'm not scared him. at all. Fuck. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. That's right, you better dress me properly. 